Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the next video in the series where we open up old TCGs, uh, old booster packs. This time we have Harry Potter TCG, the Japanese version. This is actually from Wizards of the Coast. So these are, these feel just like old school Pokemon cards. You know, it's from the same company. These are from 2001, at least the original series. Uh, let's check Diagon Alley, might be a different year here. Um, probably a copyright that's probably hidden under here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, this, okay, so yeah, Diagon Alley is 2002, but the other ones here are 2001. And yeah, so like, you know, Wizards of the Coast, this stuff feels exactly like Pokemon booster packs. Uh, it's the same material, the same type of feeling when you hold it in your hand. We can see the Wizards logo up down here, Wizards of the Coast. And so we have one Diagon Alley, which was, I think, the thir third set. Then we have three Quidditch Cups, um, which is the second, uh, I think, set. And then we have three from the original, the original set here. Very, very cool. These are old school. These are great. The cards in here, actually from the first, if in English anyways, these are Japanese. They're not going to be worth anything probably. But in English from the first set, there is a, so there's ghost rares in these potentially. There's regular hollows and then there's ghost rares or ghost hollows. And if you can pull one of those, especially Harry Potter in a PSA 10, they're actually pretty expensive. So I hope we can pull at least just a hollow. <laughs> um, if we pull a ghost rare, the ghost hollow, yeah, ghost rare, I guess is the term. That would be insane. Again, because they're in Japanese, they're probably not worth much, but uh, unlike some of the other booster packs, we've opened like, you know, the Middle Earth or the Mario Kart e-reader stuff. Um, here we can actually get hollow, hollow hits. So let's see if we can get lucky. We're starting it off with the Diagon Alley. This is 2002 and I only have one and they're all long crimp, which is interesting as well. And so, yeah, let's just take another second to look at this beautiful, beautiful Wizards of the Coast pack from 2002. Amazing. I don't expect these to be in the greatest condition in here. The booster packs look kind of beat up, but let's just have a look. And uh, Harry Potter, you know, I'm sort of familiar with the movies, at least, or at least the first few movies. Um, but again, because all of this is in Japanese, um, I might be able to read some of it and might be able to, might not be able to read some of it. Anyway, so I've had these similar ones. I opened some English packs in the ba in the past and I've had these similar cards in here. I don't know what the mechanic is. Uh, mechan I don't know what the mechanic is in the game, but uh, I recognize this card anyways. All right, so... Let's continue with another one of those and just appreciate the back, by the way. The back of these Harry Potter TCG cards from Wizard of the Coast, the back is just beautiful. Like, look at this artwork here in the back. It's amazing. All right. Okay, and we got like a Quidditch scene here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and these cards, they, they just feel like... Uh, Pokemon cards, you know, old school Pokemon cards. This Wizards of the Coast. A little cat. <laughs> That's a cool artwork. And so the artwork of a lot of these characters, you know, it's like the same art style as, as it is in the original books. So that's kind of cool as well. Fantastic beasts. And where to find them. Oh, here we go. So the ghost rares, I think, you know, this is a common still. So the ghost rares would be like this layout with like the circle and the picture in it. And then there, and then this whole surface is like just a crazy hollow that has like a changes color when you move it in the light. They're pretty sick, but actually the regular hollows look beautiful as well. I really hope we can pull one. But yeah, this is a cool card. <laughs> Kabat Troll. So this is a river troll. All right. I like this card a lot, actually. Ooh. Oh, so this is Madame Ilma Pince in Japanese anyways. And this is, oh, this is our rare. So we see the star, the same system as in Pokemon star is the rare. So, uh, looks like it might be two from the back. Maybe we get two uncommons now. Ooh, what's this? This, this car looks really cool. Yeah. This is an uncommon quality Quidditch supplies. Get your Nimbus 2000. Pretty sweet. And like, look at this border. It's wild. Very cool. All right. And we have a Badiras. I guess this looks like a spell, maybe a spell card potentially. 
Yeah, so you do five damage. Um, yeah. Uncommon. So I guess it's the two uncommons from the back and then the rare. So it's like two from the back. If we want to do, if we do the pack trick, should we? Shall we? Let's try. Let's try and do it on one of the, the Quidditch cups here. All right. Quidditch cup, two thousand and one, I think. Anyways. Uh, yep, two thousand and one. Wizards of the Coast Quidditch Cup. Here we go. Oh goodness. Alrighty. Looks like we have a clean sweep seven here. So let's try and do the let's try and do the pack trick. Let's do two from the back, and then I guess these should be our uncommons if we did it correctly. Yes, we got an uncommon here. Perfect. Okay. Penalty sheet. <laughs> All right, looks like Harry laying in bed, enjoying some presents he got, maybe? Oh, okay. Yeah, no bit on. Okay. Sick bed or giving bed? I'm not sure about the country. All right, here we go. Oh, we get another. Wait a second. Oh, so are these like similar cards here? Didn't we get the? Oh no, we saw this when we opened it up. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. All right, <laughs> all right. So the rare is gonna be our in the back. Hit. Common. Very cool. Oh, that's a cool card. It's called time. Common. Storira, common card, very, very cool stuff here. The condition is like, actually okay. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> uh, not bad, not bad. And now we got uh, some of these books again. I guess we had another book and then we should have our rare. Can we get a holo? Ah, oh, no holo. Wait, it's also not common. Wait a second, did, we, did, I, did I do a mistake here? Did I do an oopsie? Oh yeah, oh, this was our rare. Okay, so I guess with Quidditch Cup, it's one from the back. There we go. This was our rare. So no hollow hit on this pack. All right, let's move on to the second Quidditch Cup. Yeah, these stickers are a bit annoying, right? <laughs> but it doesn't matter since we're just opening it up anyways. Oh God, I'm butchering. I'm really butchering this pack here. There we go. That's better. So one from the back, or maybe I did something wrong here. Well, let's just do one. Let's do one from the back and see what happens. Because maybe it's uncommon, rare, uncommon. Oh no, the, okay. <laughs> I get it now. The rare is in the back. So we kind of spoiled this one already. So this, yeah, this would be, I think this would be like a ghost rare or like this artwork, this art style here. All right, so kind of spoiled that one. So let's just go through these quickly. Oh, we got another duplicate here. Hit another duplicate. We got another clean sweep seven. Wow, we got another one of these. Jeez, <laughs> the pack is like identical almost. <laughs> and then we have all oh, the chocolate frogs. Kaeru, kaeru chocolate. So yeah, frog chocolate. And then we have oh, this is this is a cool one. Harry Potter chasing, chasing the uh, the ball. I forgot the name. And then we Professor Snape. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we know. We know the rare is in the back, so we, we don't have to do anything. We can just open it up. So yeah, no hollows. Wow, this is, uh, we've been unlucky. But if we're gonna pull a hollow or a ghost rare, we want it to be from these anyways, so. All right, so let's not do a pack trick here. All right, a little, a little fox here. Very cute, another one of these. Oh, Hagrid. But the card is called Escape. Very cool stuff. And again, the artwork on these just looks really good, and the color composition. I don't know. Just these are these are very nice cards. They look really nice. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Beautiful cards. Oh, that's a cool one. So this is our first uncommon here. Professor Snape here blowing the whistle. Mm hmm hmm hmm. So yeah, now it's a Snape Sensei. So yeah, very cool. All right, and then we have another uncommon here. This looks badass. Hagrid. 
And then our rare is oh, no hollow. <laughs> Neville Longbottom. Here we go. Oh, no hollow. You know, these are like not even second hand. These are probably third, fourth, fifth hand. So it's completely possible that someone weighed these before, you know, selling them to the store that then sold it. I don't know, but maybe we just got unlucky. So let's these are the ones though. We want hit out of these the most. And again, these are Japanese, so you know, in English, only the ghost rares are worth anything, and only ghost rares of like popular characters are really worth anything at all. And in Japanese, I don't think these are worth much. Uh, I don't think any grading company grades the Japanese cards, so it doesn't really matter. But it would be nice if we could pull one because they are beautiful. And uh, yeah, let's not do a pack trick and let's just see what happens. Okay. Look at that. That is interesting art style here. Very unique. Oh man, these are so old school. Like, look at that. Oh, I can I just really appreciate this artwork or like this style. I love it. Looks great. <laughs> kind of difficult to, uh, you know, like half the cards are like sideways. So I have to go like back and forth. Just look at this. It looks so good. All right, so, oh, this was an uncommon. This is an uncommon. Oh, just fantastic, beautiful artwork. Okay, so, and we get these books, or spell books, I guess. And then I guess the la this is the rare. Oh, it's a hollow. I saw it, it's a hollow. I don't think it's a ghost rare, but it's a hollow. Ooh, please be a good one, please be a good one. So no pack trick, but, oh. It's just uh, Inochi no Mizu, so this is like life water or something, or yeah, I don't know. Mm, I might put like a little uh, annotation here, well, how to pronounce this. But yeah, this is, uh, or how to translate this, I should say. Unfortunately, no character, so, but we did get a holo, and I mainly wanted to, I hope to pull one to show you the, like, the, the holo pattern. It has like lightning bolts and stars, and it just looks... It looks really good. Just trying to really show it well in the light here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful cards. This one gets leafed. And uh, beautiful. I'm just glad we pulled a hollow. And I'm glad it was, you know, if we only pull one, I'm very happy that we got it at least from the OG original set. So we're gonna open up this booster pack next. There we go, that's, that's easier. Okay, here we go. And we know we don't have to do a pack trick. A lot of duplicates again. Hermione and Ron here, pretty cool. That's, uh, this, looks, this looks cool, that's a cool, cool card. Got a duplicate of this one. And we get our, our, I guess they're, I'm assuming they're spell books. Or our story books? No, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is gonna be our rare. Ew! We pulled a ghost rare! We pulled a ghost rare, and it's Ron Weasley. It's a Ron Weasley ghost rare. Holy crap, we did it! Oh, we did it! Oh my god, yes! I'm so excited! And it's a Ron Weasley too. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, it has some scratches, unfortunately. We can like show it, yeah, like right there and right there. So, unfortunately, not in the and down here as well. Not the best condition, but doesn't matter. It just looks amazing. Look at the. It has like a three D effect too. Oh my god! This is oh, this is amazing. And I'm telling you, the camera does not do it justice. Like in this angle, that looks weird for you right now. It looks like red, right? I can see clearly really well Ron here. And then it has like a, a 3D effect where the cloud in the background looks like it's like two centimeters back and they move like, oh, and his hand as well looks like it's behind him. Like, oh, you can kind of see it here. This is a good angle. This is a good angle. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> oh, that's so exciting. But yeah, condition wise, obviously, you know, uh, this would be like a PSA seven or eight with these scratches, but still that's exciting. We pulled the ghost rare. That's really cool. And I'm excited. I'm just stoked that we were able to like pull one to show it in the video on the channel. And it's a Ron Weasley. Just really cool. Yeah, this angle kind of shows it. Okay. It's it really hits different in person. Like in person it looks insane. Like I wish we had Pokemon cards like that. Again, this is 2001. We could have had Pokemon cards like that, you know? Ah, oh, amazing. That's so cool. That is so cool. All right, we got one more pack though. One more pack. We might pull another one. Well, okay, let's I should stop right there. We're not going to pull another one. Um I think these were like, oh, I really don't know, but I heard people say it is like two per booster box or something, two to three. Um, I've seen people pull more, but um, they're not easy to pull. So we got pretty damn lucky. We got a hollow and a ghost rare. So that's exciting. All right, let's continue here. Last pack here. So this was the, I saved this for last because of the, you know, the pack art. Very cool. Anyway, so I got a wolf, you got a snake. That's a cool, that's a cool card. That spider. Alrighty. Snape, Snape, Snape's question. Oh, that looks cool. Wow. This one again, duplicate. Oh, I like this one. Very cool card. Uncommon. Oh, that was an uncommon. This is another uncommon. We got our books here. I should stop calling them spell books because I don't know. No, it's actually lesson. Okay, lesson. Why didn't I read that earlier? It just says lesson. So I guess they're lesson books. Less like you go to a lesson a lesson in class and you learn from these books, I guess. Or something like that. Okay. And I guess this at the top means what you're learn what you learn uh, is my assumption, but our rare for the final pack is a non-hollow. Well, to be expected. Yeah, of course. Yeah. TT dongle. Okay. Well, there you go. This is our last rare. Here are our rare hits from all the Harry Potter booster packs. So we got the ghost rare, Ron Weasley. Really cool. This angle shows it well as well. Like his, down here, he's holding like something in his hand. And it's also just these like little symbols here on the, yeah, on the left. Just really cool. We got the Neville Longbottom non-hollow rare. You got these uh, Fred and uh, George Weasley non-hollow rare. Then we got this one with Harry in the bed. We pulled the Madame Ilma Pince. Uh, non hollow rare, we pulled the regular hollow, Inuchino Misu, and then we pulled the TT Rando. TT Rando. All right, there we go. That was so much fun. I'm stoked, and this is, uh, this is pretty insane. <laughs> I'm stoked that we were able to pull this one. Um, to give you an idea, I think the Harry, Harry Potter Ghost Rare from the base set, I guess this, this is what you call base set, the first release, the first set. The Harry Potter Ghost Rare in a PSA 10 goes for like, I shouldn't say anything because I really, I'm not that sure, but it's, it's definitely over a hundred bucks. And for a TCG that's kind of dead, that's pretty insane actually still. So that we pull the Ron Weasley is amazing and just, uh, just looks really good. You can see all the little pictures here on the left side, I'm trying to highlight them. But yeah, beautiful cards, look insane and yeah, glad we pulled one. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.